Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode, and back, finally, in the studio. My place of zen, it's been a crazy two weeks, Tomorrowland, a bit of France, now finally back here. Today we're looking at something that I wish I had with me on my trip. It is very tiny, this little guy. But good things come in small packages, I guess. You heard it here first. This is the TARDISK, and it essentially doubles the space of your MacBook, your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air. As long as it has an SD card slot, we get an extra 250 gigs of storage, which is nuts in something this tiny. When I was editing over in France, especially when I was shooting in 4K or even 60 or 120 FPS, my hard drive filled up instantaneously. Wish I had something that was a bit more mobile, a bit more compact than the other hard drives that I was carrying around with me. This could definitely be the solution, so let's go ahead and install this puppy and see if we can get any more space on this guy. You can use the TARDISK in two separate ways, the first being maybe the most simple. It's essentially acting like a small little flash drive. Stick it into the SD card slot, run the little booter, and now you've got a small little option for a removable 256 card. But the second way to use your TARDISK, which is its intended use, is to actually pair it with your MacBook, so now your computer thinks you're doubling its hard drive space. There are a couple extra steps, so let's run through that process right now. Just a couple things to note, while we're going through this process, you have to turn off File Vault on your computer and decrypt your hard drive. My time is currently set to 57 minutes. Just keep that in mind. essentially be doubling most of your storage if you have a 256 gig MacBook. Since I went above and beyond and actually got the 512 gigabyte hard drive solution for my MacBook, I've increased mine by a third. Hopefully I can do my math right. Most of you people that got the 256 version will now double your storage. This solution is super handy if you don't use your SD card slot, and I know some people that have never even touched it the entire time they've owned their MacBooks, and especially handy if you wanna leave this in your computer at all times and don't have to worry about carrying around an extra flash drive. All right, this will wrap up another solid episode. If you guys like this sweet little idea of doubling your MacBook storage, be sure to go nuts over on that like button, sub to the channel. I am super stoked to be back in the studio, so expect to see your inboxes explode with a bunch of videos as I have a ton of stuff lined up. I will catch the rest of you in either one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.